Hello viewers, welcome to my channel Pharmacypedia. Today we are here again to discuss a very interesting topic that is about the sunscreens and sun protection factors. So let us first try to understand the spectrum of the sun solar radiation. So although the solar radiation has been divided into five major regions, ultraviolet C, ultraviolet B, ultraviolet A, visible range and infrared range. Since we are here to discuss about the sunscreen, we are peculiarly interested in the two, two ranges. First is UVB, ultraviolet B, that ranges from 290 nanometers to 320 nanometers and UVA, also known as ultraviolet A, which ranges from 320 nanometers to 400 nanometers. So, the, basically, UVA radiation damages the skin cells and DNA. It reaches the deeper air and is held responsible for photoaging and photocarcinogenesis. It is also said to be having effect on the skin elasticity, increase of the wrinkling and production of the reactive oxygen radicals that leads to acute and chronic changes on the skin. Whereas, ultraviolet B radiation causes changes such as pigmentation, sunburn as well as the chronic changes such as immunosuppressions and photocarcinogenesis. So hereby you can see that ultraviolet B radiation is basically concerned with the sunburn and pigmentation effect of the solar radiations caused by the solar radiation. Whereas the ultraviolet A radiation actually is penetrates the deeper part of the skin and damages the skin cells in the DNA which ultimately leads to the photoaging effects. So, while formulating for the sunscreen, basically we are concerned with the ultraviolet B blocking agents. So, when we calculate the sun protection factor, the formula says that the minimum erythema dose in sunscreen in the protected skin versus the minimal erythema dose in unprotected skin, which we are going to discuss this calculation of the SPF factor further in the slides. It only measures the protections from the UVB radiations. This is very important and pertinent to know that it has nothing to do with the deeper penetrant UVA radiation. In fact, in US, there has been no labeling system that tells the consumer how much UVA protections they are getting in a sunscreen. So basically, where, uh, let us try to understand the formulation of sunscreen. When we are, why we are using the sunscreen? Because we want to protect our skin from the harmful radiations of the sun. Which harmful radiations? UVA region and UVB region. UVA is basically concerned with the photo aging effect and carcinogenic effect. Whereby the UVB region is basically responsible for causing the sunburn. So when we formulate the sunscreen, we try to keep, it is basically providing us the protection from the UVB agents. So the UVB radiation protection is only provided by the sun protection factor, which is being calculated in the sunscreen. So in sunscreen, apart from the UVB protection, nowadays star rating system is also there, also known as the UVA star rating system. So you can understand that when we talk about the sunscreen, two things are very important. First is the SPF which provides us the protection from the UVB radiations and the star rating, which actually provides protection from the UVA radiations. Basically, the sunscreen, how, it, how does it actually works? The sunscreen's action may vary. It may either block the UV radiations or it may reflect the radiations and ultimately scatter the sunlight. Chemical sunscreens actually absorbs the UV rays, whereas the physical sunscreen reflect or scatter the light. So you can say three, three ways of work is done by the sunscreen. First is by blocking, which is done by the physical sunscreens, re reflecting and scattering light, whereas the chemical sunscreens actually absorb the UV radiations. Now, while calculating the measurement for the SPF, as per the FD regulations, there are two ways, in vivo methods and in vitro methods. In vitro methods are being preferred over these days because 
they don't uh, take the human volunteers they are like uh, in vitro methods they are simulating the conditions like the in vivo conditions and without using the human volunteers so while uh, these tests are being done on the human volunteers in in vivo methods they are being exposed to the harmful radiations so it is nowadays being preferred to use the in vitro methods so a product claiming spf protection must be clinically tested on at least 10 human volunteer subjects so how does we calculate the spf it is again in the in vivo methods in vivo means on the human volunteers it is measured by applying 2 milligram per centimeter square of a sunscreen formula to an area of mid back allowing the sunscreen to dry for 15 minutes and administering in a series of five increasing doses of the ultraviolet radiations simulating sunlight to skin sites treated with the sunscreen so what happens is that it's a very simple method you are applying the sunscreen uh, uh, the dose is actually 2 milligram per centimeter square preferably on the back area or the area exposed to the sunscreen and you're simulating like you're maybe you're using some xenon sources like that it's you're not using actual sunlight whereas another series of five increasing uv radiation is applied within the screen without the sunscreen so again there is uh, with formulation and once uh, one set is without formulation so after 16 to 24 hours the irradiated skin sites are examined to determine the spf so how is the spf calculated it is the lowest dose of the uv radiation that causes mild sunburn in the sunscreen treated area divided by the lowest dose of the uv radiations that causes mild sunburn in the area without sunscreen so again it is the same factor minimum dose of the uv radiation that causes mild sunburn in the sunscreen treated area divided by the without sunscreen area so the label spf of a screen formula is based on an average spf of 10 volunteers so as mentioned earlier it is being done on the 10 human volunteer subjects now let us try to understand the in vitro methods developed these days to substitute the in vivo methods so currently the non-invasive methods for the measurement of the sunscreen spf includes in vitro measurements on artificial substrates that simulate the skin surface so like you are taking the skin surface simulations for example the more po polymers like polymethyl methacrylate or fused silica substrate this is actually acting as a substitute for the skin surface and utilizing the computerized mathematical models based on the uv radiation absorbance spectra of active ingredients so this is also uh, used nowadays to simulate the skin part and uh, actually you are using the same formula for the determination utilizing mathematical models so let us now try to understand the few facts about the sunscreen uh, the, uh, when you consider for the choice of the sunscreen, two things are very important. First is the SPF factor and second is the UVA star reading. So when we are first uh, particular about the UVB radiation, it is pertinent to know that no sunscreen can block all the UV rays. But you should know that SPF 15 blocks 93% of the UVB rays, SPF 30 blocks and 97% of the UV rays, UVB rays and SPF 50 blocks and 98% of the UVB rays. So the difference between the SPF 30 and SPF 50 is hardly 1%. So it is being recommended to use SPF 30 UVB block along with the high star ratings. So the label should have sun protection factor of at least 30 to protect against UVB and at least 4 uh, star uva protection as i have mentioned earlier two things are very important first is the spa factor and second is the uva star rating so the recommendation is to use minimum of 30 spa factor along with the four star rating uva protection so now why it is not recommended to use very high spf people uh, it is not being recommended to use very high uh, spf product as they don't give you that much sort of the protection but the truth is that higher spf product are only marginally better marginally better at shielding you from uvb radiations according to both the uh, organization so it is being recommended to use spf 30 along with the four star rating uva protection now spf 30 blocks nearly 97 percent of the uv radiation uvb radiations and spf 50 blocks 98 percent so whereas spf 100 blocks 99 percent it is again not the 100 percent now let us try to understand the uva star system now this system is very simple the star ratings are being given uh, ranging from 0 to 5 and it in indicates the percentage of uva radiation 
absorbed by the sunscreen in comparison to the UVB radiation. So, in other words, it is the ratio between the level of protection afforded by UVA protection versus the UVB protection. So, be aware if you choose a low SPF, it may still have high level of the stars. Not because it is providing lots of UVA protection, but because the ratio between UVA and UVB protection is about the same. So, that is why it is very important to choose a very high SPF as well as high UVA protection. Sunscreen that offers both UVA and UVB protections are sometimes called the broad spectrum. Very important to note that what are the broad spectrum sunscreens that offer both UVA and UVB protections are sometimes called the broad spectrum. So, a sunscreen with a SPF of 30 and UVA rating of 4 to 5 stars is generally considered as a good standard for sun protections. So, now I think everybody of you is very clear. Two factors, SPF and UVA star rating. SPF not less than 30, UVA star rating minimum 4 to 5 stars. That is an ideal choice for the selection of sunscreens. Now, you can see this table also, which is clearly giving you indication about the SPF ranges. Like SPF 6 to 14 gives you low protection. SPF 15 to 19 gives you medium protection. SPF 30 to 50 is gives you high protection. And SPF 50 plus gives you very high protection. But it's when we compare it with the high protection, it is hardly 1 to 2 percent because SPF 30 gives you 97 percent UVB protection. So, uh, now you are clear uh, along with the SPF 30, you should have 4 to 5 star rating uh, UVB protection, uh, UVA protection as well. So, that you can have the combined protection. In my next video, I am going to discuss you about all the sunscreen agents which lies, all the chemicals which rise in the uh, UVB ranges, UVA ranges and the combinations which can be worked out. Thank you so much. So, please take a suggestion. Always use SPF 30 for getting the UVB protection along with the 4 to 5 star rating UVA protection. Thank you so much for watching my video. Please do like, share and subscribe from ACPedia. Happy learning.